All right, guys. So we're going to get into this uh, special request. I was asked about my arenas. Now, I just did a video. I didn't upload it yet. About to do it as I'm done with this one. I did my arenas on the Switch version of AEW Fight Forever. So now I'm going to do all 20 arenas on my Series X version. Now, this arena... AEW Battlefield. Now, looking at it, I'm pretty sure you can tell. <laughs> this is for the females. So, you see what I went with the blue guardrails. Got the water mat. Uh, I mean, you see everything. You see. Got the got the, got the the pink and yellow flowery uh, mat uh, apron. And the matching turnbuckles. The pink ropes. And, um... Let me see something real quick. Okay, so stained glass, that's the name of that one. I just wanted to see what it was. I know the floor, the floor is the water, this is the water look. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we go up, this, the, up the ramp and so that's what I have on there, Jumbotron or whatever. So yeah, you know, got the uh, see-through like reddish slash pink is like globes up there you know creativity man creativity got the uh japanese uh the decoration of over there the red one yeah creativity okay this arena i have this one on the um on the um switch version so same exact thing that i did on there i did on here I just love this arena, man. There's just something about it. It's just vibrant. There's something about it, man. So, yeah. Only thing might be different is down here with the objects. I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. So, we already did that. Okay. Now, I did the AEW Games Arena over there as well. But on that one, it doesn't have the space look. It has the uh, the ring. The mat itself in the ring has the AEW Games logo outside everything. So I just basically changed it by the mat having the space look. And um got the uh soldiers down here, those big golden soldiers. So I think that's something I did different, really. Got the AEW games logo. So slight differences there, but each game, like I said, man, because uh it's like the TBS and TNT championship, what it means, the rich history of that championship for because of that channel the channels that they're on the network it's like just to have AEW games is like you know so here AEW Dungeon Arena that's the old um I think that's I think that's the old New Japan wrestling ring but I know I know it's a Japanese ring um I used to watch it all the time so we got the brick floor um mats the brick floor mats let me say not actual brick floor brick floor mats um I think I did the same with the guardrails. Okay, the objects down here, cool. All right, they blend in with everything as well. Okay, and um, got the brick wall for the, because uh, basically that's the way the building is designed. That everything is a brick wall, all brick inside. Um, the ramp itself, yes. Yeah. No, the ramp is the tiles. That is like it's like uh, let me see. Yeah, it's flooring tile. Yeah. But like, yeah, you know, um, pretty much that ring. That's how it was. The different colors, like like had the blue where the blue part is. That turk, like the maroon, whatever you want to call it. Then they had the red posts going across from each other. She got the blue corner 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 posts in front of the blue part of the mat. The maroon color corner post in front of the maroon color um, part of the mat. And then they had the red in there going across like that. So, um, yeah, that 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 arena was legendary, man. And that 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 ring anyway that they use. Everybody knew about that mat, that that the way that, that ring. So wait, I'm going the wrong way. See, in my mind I still got the switch controller in my hand. Okay. Um, AEW Dynamite 2.0 Just a different vision I had Like yeah So I like I like I really love the way this arena came out man 
um, as you can see, everything, you know, nothing I can tell you. You can see it for yourself, what I did. You know, everything, everything is everything on here. Now, let me see what I did with the ramp. Pretty much ADW Games. Um, yeah. Now, I don't know if I was ever going to change that or if I did already. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think maybe I was going to put the Dynamite logo up there. But anyway, it doesn't matter. If I do, I do. But yeah, I really love that ring, though. Everything. The whole setup with that ring is just beautiful, man. Like, yeah. So I wanted to do something different with that. Um, I didn't want to make it look like, you know, just the usual. So I got the all out, all black right there. there I, I love this right here, too. So y'all see what I did. Have the all out turnbuckles, everything, black ropes, black everything. Got the white lettering. It just pops differently. There's a hint of red in the apron. Uh, with the big, you know. Um, and you see the thing with the all out logo is it comes automatically with the white and yellow AEW lettering. So, um. I don't know. I might leave it like that. I might change it. I don't know. I'm, I'm cool with it the way it is. Um, yeah, there's just no all out without. Um, and isn't it funny? I'm looking at all out and they're singing. We're going all out. But um, yeah, it's just, it's like you you um, automatically get the AEW logo with it. I don't have a problem with it. Um, Yeah, I think I yeah, pretty much that's probably the best the best uh you know. Yeah. But um yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. And there's not too many colors in there anyway, so it doesn't, you know, at that point. This is one of the first arenas that I created when I got this game, definitely never changed it. Um you now got the stinger, uh uh red, white turnbuckles you see got the uh got the white flooring now i might change the floor where it's just solid white and that gray separate um matte corners are not there um it doesn't hurt anything but i don't know i might change that you know so that's what we're looking like overall got the casino uh <laughs> the, the, the the casino uh, props with the uh, red see through ball over there. It, I mean, you know, it's it's different things you see sometime and you'll go like, okay, let's see, let's let's play around with it for a second. Now that's cool right there as well. All right, as for now, I'll leave it like it is. So now I got the Cosmos symbol up on, up on the apron. Got the water, the water floor mat, the TNT guardrails. Got the yellow ropes. Got the light colored mat, black and yellow AEW logo up there. Yeah. Okay, got the Cosmos up on the Jumbo. Yeah. Got the Cosmos on the, on the, on the ramp. Yeah, got a good look to it. Got the AEW Games Globe with the uh, two white chess pieces as props. Yeah. Haunted Holiday House. That's the one I was talking about. Yeah, where I have a Christmas tree and a pumpkin. Haunted Holiday House. And I gave this one also the Haunted House look up there because... And that's the thing, man. You, you can get, get different variations of something, man, you know. And um, I'm really going to see 
but and, and that one is on the uh, Switch version. This is the uh, Xbox. Remember that. So we got the fiery uh, guardrails, the fiery ring apron, got the Jack O' Lantern uh, floor mat, yellow ropes, orange turnbuckles, um, yeah, the fiery ramp. As you can see, got the Christmas tree and the pumpkin there. Got the haunted house up. So yeah, and that looks great with this board, man. That's that with, the, with in, in this venue as well. And this is what I mean, man. Like you know, you just need to do so many things. As well, when people talk about something and say there's literally nothing that you can do on this and this, I'm, I I just shake my head at people. Like man, I've always found a way to enjoy my time, man. Now this is another version of Rampage I created. Now of course, once again, this is on. Xbox. The last one I showed you was the Switch. So, just created my own version of Rampage Ring. You know, they change how to look at everything. The interface is the same. I would love and I went with the uh, what you call it. Let me see. Went with uh, that stage screen up there. Well, of course, have the Rampage logo up you know, with the TNT symbol. Uh... Yeah, I feel like it was, I mean, I could even go with that right there, to be honest. As a matter of fact, you know what? That's what I'm going with right there. That right there. I'm going with that right there. Yeah, I'm going with that right there. I love that. Okay, now y'all just saw a change. <laughs> you just saw a change. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to go back and change it later because if I finalize it, yeah, if I finalize it, it's gonna take me out of here. So I'll go back, I guess, before I change it. Now, of course, this board, you this venue rather, you saw on the Switch version as well, All right? This is the beach, the indoor, you know, beach look rather, not a, you know. Um, yeah, this is one of the ones I did. One of the first ones I did as well, man. I love these colors. This ring just pops different. Um, AEW Combat Zone. Um, yeah, man. Got the brick mat floors. The brick uh, guardrail look. Yeah, orange, orange gold um, corner posts with the yellow corner joints. Got the white and orange sting. Uh, um, turnbuckles, you know, I mean, got the gray, the gray, um, the gray granite, uh, apron, like, yeah, I love that right there, man, you know, once again, you know, all the colors just fit in together, man, yeah, they all just, just fit in together, and, uh, you know, the, the one thing that I always notice, too, is when people meet the arenas, like, okay, the LEDs, of course, go with the color scheme and everything. When people make arenas, right, a lot of times, and listen, it's up to, whatever you feel like you want to do is what you do. I notice a lot of people will make, like, the floor all one thing, the guardrails, the ring, like, everything is all one thing. Now, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Um, this is another one of the first ones that I made. Got the sting blue and white corner post, the blue floor mat. I mean, you see what I mean? Look at the apron, like everything. Like just pops different, man. Um stage ramp. Yeah, got the Statue of Liberty over there, got the blue see-through globe. You know, got, the, got you know, everything just pops right. Yeah, so if you, I noticed a lot of people, they make the floor, the guardrail, the rim, everything just one thing. And, I mean, if that's what you want, that's what you want. One of the things that I do, so when I'm playing one one venue, it don't feel like I'm just doing the same thing. You know, I just have a whole different feel. It's like when you watch Rampage. Rampage doesn't feel like Collision. Collision doesn't feel like Rampage or Dynamite. Dynamite doesn't feel like Rampage. You know, they have they all have a different feel to them, a different look. Um, that's where, when I'm creating these arenas, that's what I'm doing as well. So, I just made another version of AEW Dynamite. And, um, 
I said, okay, cool. Now, instead of sitting here waiting, going, man, yeah, I want that the updated version of the ring. That's cool, too, yeah. But in the meantime, until they do so, guess what? <laughs> we have the power to change whatever we want to change ourselves. So, yeah, I mean, and this is the way that Serena has came out. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I, I I would love the new the, the 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 new updated look, and we don't have collision um at all yet, you know. Now this I love too, all the colors pop together. I think it gave it a nice touch too with the the gold you know uh, ring posts. The colors are in the logo and everything, you know the turnbuckles. Every everything just 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 blends in together, man. Everything. That's beautiful, man. And that's the thing. So when you're playing and stuff, man, you got these different um, venues to play in. And, and you know what? I talked in the video about, you know, a different mode that, that um, you know, got the lions on here. Yeah, this is, this is beautiful. Um, I talked about a different mode that AEW could make. Now, this is one of the first ones I made, the Ancient Arena. As you can see, and this was like my favorite one when I like this one and the one with the orange and yellow and what, I don't know, but this one, as you can see, what I did. Now you see the apron and the turnbuckles match. You got the black wing post and you got the ancient like gods or whatever they, they're supposed to be Egyptians or whatever on the floor on the, the mat, the guard rails, the uh, floor mat outside. Um, yeah, I love this arena right here. And um, now for your stage ramp, you can't do lighting on this, like the you know like uh, jungle or trons or nothing because there's nothing there. So this is that ancient arena look, man. And I love this. I truly love that right there. So I didn't duplicate that, you know. And here I just got all these different objects, man. That's like symbolized, like the king tut and all that. Like, yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful, man. I did the same thing on the opposite side. So, um, yeah. And even the ramp, right? Even the ramp. Yeah. And this is like that old Coliseum look, like, you know? And, um, yeah. I had to do the endless, <laughs> endless nightmare arena. I, had to, I did this version on both. So, I got about three. I think I got like three arenas. That's identical. Three, maybe. So, yeah. Something like that. But anyway. So, you saw this already. Over on, um, what you call it. You see, you got the creepy looking guardrails and all that, man. Everything. Man. Everything. But I wanted this to pop different. Like I said, the yellow ropes on it and everything, man. Yeah. This looks creepy. Um, so, we go up here to the stage ramp. You see what I did? Got the fire. Yeah, it's the same exact thing I did. But, um, yeah. Golden Dragon Arena. This is one of the ones I did as well, too, man. And I watch a lot of Japanese wrestling, too, man. It was just like, I, I noticed their color schemes would be different. They would have, like, logos all over, like, di like different look, sponsor logos all over their ring and stuff like that. And um, they always had the tall, like the, the, the turnbuckles like that. So, yeah, man, I went in my bag and said, you know what? Yeah, let me do something different. And if you notice, that's why um, I do a lot of arenas and you don't even see an AEW logo. Um, but then some of them I do. I mean, it's AEW, you know what I mean? So, it is, it's not like, I'm, you know, but I want to give a different look and a different feel. So, yeah. Of course, I call it the Golden Dragon Arena, and they are my Golden Dragons, you know? So, yeah, man. Yeah. What else we have? Liberty Green Arena. Yeah. So, this is where I have the, um, I know I have the Statue of Liberty here. I did this arena over, and I'm glad that I did. And it looks so much better just with tweaking it the way I did. Um, you wouldn't know. Unless you see it, watch an old video, one of the older videos where before I changed it with the camouflage uh, apron and stuff, like just yeah, 
basically um, these little tweaks and turns and things that you do, man, it, 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 it goes a long way. So, got the camouflage uh, uh, screens up there and everything. You know, that this is, this is, yeah, this is cool, man. Got the palm trees and got a <laughs> Statue of Liberty, which is why I call it Liberty Green Arena. Alright? Yeah. Okay. Now, what I did here, Haunted Holiday House, I think I showed you guys this, right? Yeah, I showed you guys this already. Yeah, I showed you guys this already. So, yeah, pretty much. Yep. Pretty much. Rampage, right? Okay. So what I didn't show you. Okay. Shogun Temple. I wanted to keep this one like more, well, like I did. So basically this one, um, you know, back in the day when they had, what's that, that wrestling show with those luchadors, man? They used to come on MTV. Lucha, what was the name of that one? And, um, oh, I forget the name of that wrestler. They used to come on MTV, though. And, like, 2000, it was, like, the earlier 2000s. And then the show wound up getting canceled, man. But the guy, it was a guy, he's, um, in MLW right now. Oh, I forgot the name of that wrestling show. But they had a mat that had that bloodstained look on it. And um, I remember when I first saw this game, I, I thought about them. And I'm like, yeah, I forgot the name of that wrestling, that, that, that show. But um, this, you know, is more like just, you got the mat that pretty much matches the guardrails. So, you know, those show on the and stuff like that. It was one of those things where like everything about them is like it's just a warrior mentality, right? So I felt like I wanted to I did something with this before and then I wound up changing it to something else. And I don't remember to what I changed it to. But um Yeah. But um I always like, nah, I gotta, I have to do something with that. So, you know, once again, an arena that looks completely different, has its own feel to it. And, um, yeah, so those are all my arenas, y'all. So, I went through this, like I said, special request, and you guys see what I did. And, um, hey, listen, you know, this stuff is like, it's, 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 it's like, it's just fun to do. And um, I'm not going to, let me see. Yeah, I'm not going to do a match. Yeah. Just gave y'all what y'all asked for. And then uh, that's that. Hope y'all like the arenas. If you get ideas, if you want to copy them, whatever, that's all great, man. But um, that's what they are. So with this and with the... Um, and with my um, Switch version, that's like 37 different arenas because I did like three, I think two or three identical. I'm not sure. But anyway, bottom line, you know, it's a lot. And uh, yeah. So that's all I got for you guys on this one. Hey, man, play your games, enjoy your games, enjoy your day. And I will catch you guys on the next one.